It's midweek on a cold winter night in northeast Minneapolis. Hello, how do you please? Not exactly the kind of night that draws people out on the town. Thank you. But this isn't any old night. It's rock and roll. And this isn't any old bar. This is the Vegas Lounge. Each morning I get up, I tire. The Vegas Lounge is one of the few bars in the Twin Cities where you can find karaoke every single night of the week. It gives wannabes the opportunity to be a rock star for five minutes at a time. Jake D, as he's known at the Vegas, is a regular on Sunday and Wednesday nights. Somebody to love. And a fan favorite. It's awesome. It really, I mean, the, the reaction I get from people singing is one of my favorite things in life. Meredith is coming to the microphone. Meredith. He's not alone. The word of mouth on this place is so rampant. Some nights. So it's Wagon Wheel by Will, Aaron, and Ethan. The waiting list to sing can run more than two hours long. I've worked weekends where they stand. You can't because it has a capacity. <laughs> They'll wait out there until a few people do. Come on, baby. Behind the host desk, Mike Valine, we scared to death. who's been running karaoke at the Vegas for the last 18 years. Some people say, how can you deal with that every day, right? And there's songs you hear over and over again. I mean, if I never heard Don't Stop Believing Again in my life, it'd be too soon for me. But if there's one thing he's learned, when it comes to karaoke, you can't judge a book by its cover. I've been shocked. I've been shocked as hell many times where it's like, that's coming out of that? Really? And the magic isn't just on stage. The crowd is different here, a supportive group of strangers. I mean, at a bar where people drink a lot of liquor or whatever, I mean, honestly, I can't remember the last time I saw a fight in here. It definitely does make you feel proud. Jerry Schroeder has owned the Vegas for the last 13 years, but her roots run deep. Her dad worked here starting in the 70s, and Jerry started bartending when she was old enough to serve liquor. She even met her husband here. She's put her heart and soul into the Vegas to make it what it is. You have to give credit to all the hosts, um, my employees. I think um, we all work, try and work as one big happy family. She's not kidding. Among the people who work here, Jerry's two sisters and her son, Nick. She started pretty much, what, 36 years ago. And it's grown so much. It's evolved. It's, I mean, it's bigger than us, you know? That's, that's the coolest part about it. The rest of the staff considered part of the family, from the guys at the door, hey, gentlemen, how are we doing? to the bartenders, to the karaoke hosts, uh, six, one, two, we're Jordan! to the servers. What a little more about doing there. I think I've been here about 13 years. Oh, oh no, you got to pay for this one. But I've been hanging down here for 13. Then you get a free yeah, refill. Like <laughs> <laughs> Server Don Hutton is arguably the face of the Vegas. People first come in, I know they're new, because when I laugh, they're like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> also known as Delta, she's here most nights of the week. Well, my other choice is to be sitting at home with my husband. <laughs> I think I'll sit down here instead, yeah. And every once in a while. It's a rare appearance tonight. We're gonna get uh, our waitress Delta Dawn up here. If you're really lucky, You'll get to hear Delta sing. Oh, whoa, Black Betty Bam Lam, whoa, Black Betty Bam Lam. I'm up there doing, I'm doing me. Like, I'm Lady Gaga, I was born this way. <laughs> I can't help it. Bam Lam, Black Betty Bam Lam, Bam Lam, Bam Lam, Bam Lam. People tell me they go other places, other cities, you know, and they've never found anything quite like the Vegas, right? Not quite like this just a few songs in and it's easy to see why the Vegas has become such a go-to for a good time. I'm super proud of what we got here. Super proud of where I've seen this come from when I started here to where we are now. So where does the Vegas go from here? Uh, Jerry's coming to the microphone next. The answer appropriately found in owner Jerry's favorite karaoke song. Jerry is getting ready to turn the Vegas over to her son. Can a child within my heart rise above? I need to just let go. I do, you know. But it's been my baby for a long time, and, and so that's hard. 
to let go, but now I'm going to give it to my babies. You know, or not give it to them. I'm going to sell it to them. <laughs> and the next generation is ready to run with it. Carving my own lane, you know, trying to make it better, trying to grow. I thank her for it a lot. I mean, I don't always say it, but I, it's there. Just a small town girl. So as long as the bright lights of the Vegas keep shining seven nights a week, the crowds will keep singing and supporting. I can't see myself stopping doing this because I enjoy it. And the good times will go on and on and on and on and on. Amy Hockard, Fox 9.